Well, that Ireland-Australia match in 1968 at Lansdowne was the third time in the space of less than 12 months we had met Australia. We had met them at Lansdowne Road, we had met them in Sydney. Three successive victories over Australia, which was a tremendous achievement, even if the Australians weren't as good then as they are now. Mike Gibson played it out half in that match, and that was Mike's last match for Ireland at out half. He then moved, he subsequently moved into the centre and was absolutely world class, probably even better in the centre than he was at out half. The highlight of the match uh, was an act between three of the great legends of Irish rugby. Mick Malloy on the 25, and this is Bill McBride. Up to Mick Doyle. Mick Doyle up towards the line. The Irish forwards taking it upon themselves, and good odds over. McBride. A tower of strength, as usual and as always, uh, in the second row, broke free. He passed uh, to Mick Doyle. Mick Doyle surged on as, as well he always did. And there at his side was uh, the great Ken Goodall. Gibson didn't let the ball out. When I was leading the pack, and I said, Mike, for God's sake, let the ball out, will you? And he says, to who? I said, OK, you're getting no ball for 20 minutes. Right? So I called the ball at the front of the line. Yeah? So Mick Hipwell came around the front, took it from Molly Walter. Came around the front, popped it with Mac, with him, Mac John, he came to the middle, I came to the back, he went around and popped it to me, and then Goodall came around this side of me, I popped it to him, and it was a score. And Goodall's over! Ken Goodall has scored for Ireland!